Okay, well that was freaking awesome. <laughs>so we are here at the geyser or geyser geyser however you want to pronounce it um, there's a couple of them here in Iceland this one is very famous it's the largest one and it's pretty cool actually so we took the tour bus over here it was about an hour and a half drive from Reykjavik um, learned some really interesting history about Iceland along the way now when you get here be aware there's lots of it is very crowded so just you know Come aware of that. Wear nice or wear good shoes. Wear sturdy sneakers. Uh, the road is a little bit rocky, and there's some parts where it's wet. So just be ready for that. But it's a beautiful day here today, and so the geyser goes off about every five to ten minutes. They said so. We're just gonna wait until it erupts. Okay, well that was freaking awesome. <laughs> um, I got to watch it a couple of different times. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing the footage of it. I have about 10 minutes left before we have to get on the bus. So there is a um, little gift shop with restrooms and shop a shop. And there's also a restaurant if you are here not on a tour and you wanna eat something here. They do have a restaurant available. Um, but I obviously don't have time for that. So let's go check out the gift shop. All right guys, so if you're here, there is a little gift shop and a cafe uh, with restrooms and they have really cool like souvenirs and gifts to buy. Um, so this place is really awesome. I definitely wish I had more time. I only have a few minutes to stay in here so I can't really look around too much but just wanted to let you know that it is here. If you want to come in and check it out, highly recommend it. Okay, we are at the second stop on our tour which is Goldfoss waterfall which means golden waterfall and this is a very famous waterfall apparently and it's supposed to be gorgeous apparently it's constantly named one of the best waterfalls uh, one of the top 10 waterfalls to see in the world which is kind of neat so we are just walking down there is a very nice paved walking path uh, so whether you you know have uh, mobility issues or if you are an athlete you can get down here easily it does fork off if you want to stay on the top level to watch the waterfall, you can do that. We are going to try and go down to the lower level, so let's head over. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. Alright guys, so we are here at 
Goldfoss Waterfall. Let me turn you around so you can see it. It's right here behind me. And we are so lucky because there's actually a rainbow in it today. And it's just gorgeous out, absolutely stunning. So there's two options when you're here. You can go up on, stay on the upper platform and see it from the upper platform. This is gonna be best for people who have mobility issues um, and can't go downstairs because to get to the lower level uh, platform, you do have to go down quite a few stairs. So just keep that in mind. Both platforms are beautiful to see the waterfall, but if you can make it to the lower one, I highly recommend it. It is just stunning, absolutely breathtaking here. We're But the waterfall is amazing and sometimes when the mist blows you can catch a picture of the rainbow so it's it's like incredible all right guys so we are here in the restaurant for our excursion for dinner and when you have the excursion you have these numbers the tables are numbered by your bus so you're sitting with people from your bus but it's this really cute like community dining hall area and i'm very excited for dinner i'm starving and there's bread and i am happy for bread so let me show you oh there's chocolate oh there's chocolate too so we'll show you everything that we get we come alive in the night time something about how we dance in the moonlight that look in your eyes it tells me that you want me and all my loving we come alive in the night time you and i we come alive okay this was the best salmon ever I've ever had in my life i'm not even a salmon eater or a tomato eater and the tomato soup was fabulous and the salmon was so good it was icelandic salmon i did ask it was wonderful yes. okay guys so dinner was dinner is done and that was amazing it was so good best salmon i've ever had honestly um we had tomato soup for an appetizer, and then it, the dinner was salmon with rice and vegetables, and it was just delicious, and I made some new friends along the way. So um, now we are headed to the next stop. This is our last stop on the tour, so I will see you guys there. All right, so we are here at the last stop on our, cru our cruise excursion, which is Thingvellir National Park, and it's beautiful. There's a viewpoint that you can look out over, there's a canyon that you can walk through, um, but it is cold and windy right now because it's like seven at night and it's still perfectly light out with a little bit of overcast overhead. But it's beautiful, great viewpoint, and definitely uh, something worth seeing. This eight hours went very quickly and it was we got to see a large part of the island it's fascinating and there's so much water <laughs> it's like I haven't seen water like that in 50 years I don't think I like the horses I thought they were very interesting and pretty um, the geyser was fun to watch the waterfall was amazing our dinner was great it was a fun day So we are done with our excursion. We are back on the ship and that was so much fun. I had an, such a blast. The entire, the entire excursion was amazing. Um, Iceland is just gorgeous. Uh, if you have a chance to see the Golden Circle, I'd highly recommend it. My favorite parts were definitely the waterfall and the geyser. Um, I think the, that the national park is beautiful, but definitely was my lowest on the tier list. 
Um, so we got back, it was an eight hour excursion. We're back now, it's about eight o'clock. And we have a really early morning tomorrow for our excursion in Grindefjorder. I'm sorry, I'm probably mispronouncing that. Um, but tomorrow is another fun day in another town in Iceland. So we, I am going to call it a night for right now and end the vlog here. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you had a fun time coming along with me and seeing a little bit of Iceland. And make sure that uh, you are subscribed so that you can see tomorrow's adventure as well. All right. Have a great night. See you next time. Bye.